Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. The squirrel's attacking a monitor lizard. That's crazy. I have never seen that before. Sorry, Anna. Can we hold that thought? There is a massive, massive monitor lizard, and the squirrel was jumping up and biting it on the tail. It stopped now. Oh, wow. That is a new one for me. It is a quite a large legavan. We call them legavans here in South Africa. A rock monitor. And it obviously was not welcome at all. You might even find that that squirrel had babies somewhere at the base of that tree. But I had no idea that they would be so brave. It's gone now, of course, because I was trying to draw attention to it. And it's just one of those days. But that is awesome. It is a fierce predator, and it does look as though it's hunting for something. Look at this. Poking its head into the hollow, that's the perfect hiding place for a squirrel baby or a bird nest. And they, they do raid them. How cool is that? Now don't go around that side of the tree. All right, go around that side of the tree. You and the monkeys both. Hold on a second, let's reposition. I promise I'll get back to the monkey question in a moment, but this is very, very cool. They're very prehistoric looking. It's okay, buddy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Let's keep a little bit of distance to make sure that we don't scare it or startle it. Then that would be the end of our sighting. I wish you could, I wish I'd just seen it sooner so that you could have seen that squirrel. I'm surprised the squirrel isn't alarm calling. Look at the way that it's climbing, clinging onto the side of that dead tree. Those sharp, sharp claws, they are gifted climbers. Woo, okay. and as I said that, he nearly slid down. Which, of course, is the way that ours made it into our roof in our home in Hoodsprayt. I would be very careful on that branch, mister, or missus. That is quite a broken one. Look at the way it's sliding down there. Awesome. What was I saying? Oh yes, one of them moved into our house in Hoodsprate, into the roof, the thatched roof, which I was terribly unimpressed by. Okay, sorry, we're gonna have to go around again and we're gonna miss the descent. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Rachel, you want to know how big the monitor lizards get? There he goes, there he goes. And down again and I promise we'll come back to the question about the monkeys in a moment. Rachel they can get up to almost over over a meter in length. That is probably um, to give you an idea of perspective that's why the sister killers were alarm calling I was wondering about that. That one is probably to give you a bit of perspective about this long and they're very powerful lizards so it's the largest lizard out here that we get or the largest actually one of the largest reptiles that we get out here just in terms of mass so that one probably weighs i would guess around five or so kilograms more maybe a little bit more so just over 10 pounds and that's really about as large as they get i think it's gone down now now, Tony, you want to know whether or not, because we saw the way it was gripping its way down, whether or not a monitor lizard can use its claws like hands. It can bend its toes to an extent, but no, it doesn't have, it doesn't have a, an ability to grip properly, so it can't fully close. It's, I assume that's what you mean. It can't fully close its feet or its claws. Um, those are, tend to be relatively stuck in position. But of course, there is a degree of flexibility just in the way that it climbs up the bark itself. That was really cool.